Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to do a quick review for you on my Dragon Alliance X2 Ski Goggles. These bad boys. Um, please hit like and subscribe and uh, let, me know you guys, let me know if you guys have any questions about these, alright? So, I'm going to tell you the things I do like and that I don't like. So, um, these were actually a gift for me. Um, uh, I think it was a couple years ago for my birthday, maybe like three years ago. Um, I really like, overall I really like them. Um, there's only like a couple of things that suck about them. Um, so I actually, I'm a super cheap person. So, um, I was super, sometimes my siblings for, well, I'll go in on something for my birthday cause they know I like those things, but I don't want to spend money on things. Um, so I had some cheap, like Gordini, is that what they were called as, uh, uh, goggles before. And, uh, they were not uh, ideal. Um, I'll include a link to where you can buy these on Amazon. Um, they, they were fine, those goggles, but uh, these are I like way better. So, a couple things. Um, so these come with on Amazon, you can get them for two hundred and twenty bucks. So it's like two nineteen ninety five. Um, so that's actually the biggest thing that I don't like about them is just that they're so expensive. Um, now the other thing I'm going to show you, so you can see here, you can see there's vents at the top, and there's like this foam stuff here, right? And that and they fit really well against against my face. But there's these vents on the top. And then there's vents on the bottom too, okay? So um, it does make it so they don't fog up a ton. I have worn them snowmobiling and they still fog up. I can't figure out a way to get my goggles to not fog up when I snowmobile, but I primarily use these for skiing. I ski way more than I snowmobile. I go snowmobiling like once a year. <laughs> um, but so um, I love the way that these look and the way that they fit and everything. You can, to you can adjust them back here. Um, also, they have this cool thing here on the side, so you see, so what you'll do is you'll just slide that up on each side, Oop. and hopefully not drop it on the floor. Um, so it just pops out like that. Okay, so then it also came with a darker one. I use the yellow one the most, um, but I, I like these ones. I actually like the way these ones look better. So you just pop it on there, okay, and then while you're holding it down, slide that down on both sides, and boom, it's ready to go. Um, I like the the other one better because it's a little bit more. Uh, it's just easier to see and stuff, um, so that's why I like it better. But I like I love how interchangeable they are. Um, the one thing that kind of sucks is even with another thing other than the price. Which look, I the way that I have realized on some things is I go skiing a lot. I go skiing like once a week, maybe more, um, and then a little bit of snowmobiling and stuff too. And I don't want to go buy something that's 30 bucks that I'm, I'm going to have to buy five times, right? I would rather have something that is, I spent 220 bucks on, even though these were given to me, but that I can keep for like 10 years, right? That's what I do with skis. That's what I do with boots. Um, and that's what I decided to do with the goggles as well, if I were to be buying them. But these were given to me, so thank you to my sisters. Um, here's what they look like up close. Um, you can see all in there. Um, they're also, they are crazy lightweight, and I love that. I, I love the different, uh, the different lenses that you get. So this one came with two, um, and uh, I just, I love how functional they are. They're so light, um, and uh, they come in a box that has, like, you know, a, a little, like, package to put them in, so that they, like a, like a carrying case, so that they don't get scratched up and stuff. But these just look super great. I haven't had them get scratched at all. Um, and uh, I love how lightweight they are, like I said. Um, I do, yeah, the, the one thing that sucks about these vents is like sometimes if you wreck, like so if, if you have, if you're ever like this and then you breathe up, they will still, they will get fogged up a little bit, right? Um, and then the other thing too is sometimes when I wreck, snow will go come in through the top or through the bottom. Um, depending on how hard I reckon, if I reckon too much powder and stuff. So then I have like snow in there, right? And then that's really hard to keep them from fogging up. But from what I've seen, that's actually a problem pretty much with any goggles that you have. Um, I would just kind of hope that for 220 bones um, that they wouldn't do that. But like I said, they're pretty awesome. They're super light. Um, like I don't even know how much they weigh, but it's like nothing. I don't know if this helps. <laughs> um, but I feel like they're like a pound or something like that. They're so light. Um, they're they're light they're stylish um and uh, i love that they come with the two different luma lens uh things on here i don't know if you can see it says down there luma lens so i like i like that a lot um yeah i mean i would recommend these 
to just about anyone. Now, if you're like totally on a budget, um, they do have other brand, like other models that they make, that the same company makes that are cheaper. Like they had some for like 50 bucks. Now, I don't know that those are gonna be as good as these, right? They're probably not gonna come with multiple lenses and stuff. Maybe they do, I don't know. Let me know if you know in the comments. But um, I think if you're willing to spend a little bit more in the short term, um, these are a great one to, to have and to hang on to for like 10 years or something like that. So my sister has these, her husband has these, um, and uh, all of us really, really like them. So I would, I would definitely give them a thumbs up. So let me know if you guys have any questions or anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.